Hello, hello. Welcome to the City of Healing. This is Angela. Hope everyone is well and you had a wonderful Sunday. And uh, I just wanted to come forth. I didn't uh, plan to come forth, but I decided I would uh, to share a little bit about my day. And uh, for one, um, I decided that I will go to the movies. And my daughter had previously seen the movie Us. And um, she said it was good. She said it was funny. And I was um, surprised because when I saw the previews, uh, when I go to movies, because I go kind of frequently, uh, I got it to be a scary movie. And I don't really like, you know, um, scary movies because of that type of energy, you know, you can feel or get from the screen. And as I mentioned, only saw the previews of it, and I wasn't really uh, impressed, uh, so to speak. And I judged it as maybe one of those other, you know, spirit, not spiritual, but scary movies. And I don't look at, go to the movies to look at scary movies. And so uh, I decided for some reason today that that's what I was going to do. So I uh, head out there and uh, get to the movies, and when I go to the movies, I get on the row G all the time. That's my row. I'm either 7, 8, 11, something like that. And the only open seat was 7, so I set my happy hips there. And I said, let's see what the lesson is, because, you know, obviously there's some type of um, rationale or synchronicity or uh, reason I'm here to see this movie. So the movie starts out, and I like the way it begins, and one significant point, I'm trying not to do the spoiler or whatever they call it, but um, one significant point, you saw this Bible verse, um, I don't think it's a proverb, but it's from Jeremiah 11, 11, and 11, 11 is a very significant number for me because I see it a lot. And so when I saw that, I didn't really think it was going to be uh, a synchronicity. But when I saw it, I was like, huh, you know. And so I said, hmm. And so I said, I'm going to have to look up that Bible verse because I'm not familiar with it. So, you know, I'll go, <clears throat> go ahead and read it now. Um, so it'll be documented and uh, maybe make some sense for you. But anyway, it says, therefore, thus said the Lord. Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Hmm. And I'm sure there's other verses before that and after that and a story to that. But just to gather that portion of the Bible verse, I say, wow, that's really harsh. Hmm. So, going forth with the movie, as I said, 11, 11 is a synchronicity, a number that I see a lot. And basically, when I see 11, 11, I think of new beginnings or gateway. You know, that's one of the things that I think about when I see 11, 11. So, that was interesting. And at the same time that I saw that verse, I got a text, or I thought I got a text, so I looked out at my phone, no text or anything going on. I looked at my phone, and I was like, hmm, but I see the number 444, four, four. and I see that number a lot too. And when I see that, uh, the significance to me is the presence of angels, ancestors, or spiritual guides, so I need to pay attention. So I said, okay. I'm seated, I'm ready to see what lesson, you know, there is to learn. So, uh, the movie starts out, and um, it's not a scary movie, long story short. And there were some funny parts to it, and there were a lot of deep meaning, uh, spiritual meaning to the movie, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, but some significant and key parts that I picked out from the movie and another thing funny it seems like it was uh, a dream that I've had before <laughs> funny thing about it but anyway uh, a 
a significant point when she went into the fun house, I believe that you call it. But the title of the, um, of the fun house was Find Yourself. And I was like, hmm, find yourself. That's interesting. Of course, you know, I didn't look at any other uh, reviews on the movie yet, which I will, especially of some people that I um, look up to, metaphysics and uh, spiritual um, I will look at see what they said about the movie and there are several things you can gather from the movie of course but find yourself was very significant and to go into a fun room full of mirrors allowed you to look at yourself and remind yourself that there's always two parts of everybody when you're looking in the mirror um, so true you know as above so below there's always two worlds, and those two worlds are the spiritual side, which is the reality, and this physical suit. And sometimes we don't gather which one is the dark, which one is the good side, or the light side, and uh, can, they co <clears throat> can they coexist? And this movie and that part in the fun house made me think about that. You know the two sides as above so below and um, I felt that there was um, an oversoul and that oversoul which one was it really you know oversoul is the true true side of who we really are and uh, I don't think that side in the movie was meant to prevail but you get to decide if you decide to look at the movie and um, it was a spiritual movie and um, another key point that I got from it was the part when she was chasing herself or her oversoul and it was very significant because the movie showed you know going and she was actually inside of the fun house or the house of mirrors that you know when she went back, went back uh, to find herself as the name of the funhouse room, it allowed her to go deep, 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 deep. I was like, wow, that's so, uh, so powerful. Because she kept going down these stairs, stairs, going deep, 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 deep to find herself. And then she was finally face to face with herself. And um, I won't give the movie away but I just found that to be very uh, a powerful point of the movie when you're uh, face to face with yourself and allowed to uh, conquer or not conquer uh, which one will prevail you know uh, the dark the light uh, the evil the good which is which you know can we really tell do we really know so I thought that was a very powerful point of the movie as well. Like I said, I'm not going to try to give the movie away, but I thought that was very deep and important to mention. And uh, that's what I got from this movie, to look deeper within myself and make sure that I'm really, truly connected and know who I really, really am. You know, a lot of us say that we do know ourselves, but do we really, you know? Anyway, I just wanted to Give my little two cents on the movie Us. You know, do we really know us? And us, um, you know, we have to realize, you know, that we're just down here <laughs> in these physical bodies and uh, need to connect with who we really are. That's one point of the movie that I gathered and wanted to share uh, at this point. And uh, I encourage you to... Also, if you like to go to the movie and see what type of lesson you can get from it. It's not a scary movie, actually. <laughs> and also, this is one of my, um, my weaknesses. I love scents, smells, and I happened to pass by a candle place. Well, it's not actually a candle place. It's called Bath and Body Works, and they have candles. And I went in, I said, okay, I'm done. If I get anything, it's just going to be two things. So, I got two things, two candles, and one of them is wild sage and aloe, and I don't like the real sweet or flowery 
I like more of the mahogany, spice, teak wood type smells, maybe a little citrus. But this one smells like sage. It smells like um, citrus. It smells a little bit like teak wood. It's a woodsy, uh, citrusy smell, and I really like it, and I like the color. Um, they are really getting really fancy with the decoration of their candles nowadays, so it's such a hard choice, and me smelling all the candles, it was just fun. And then the next one is Fiji um, Water Sands. Uh, Fiji White Sands, I'm sorry. But um, look at that, isn't that pretty? I might not even just want to burn this. It's just so gorgeous the way they did this. And this is such a clean, citrusy smell. I love it. Really citrus strong smell. And like I said, I don't really like the sweet ones. They make me a little nauseous. <laughs> and flora is okay, you know, if you mix a little bit of woodsy smell in it. So I just wanted to come forth and just share, you know, my two candles. I'm going to sit them on my fireplace and just enjoy the scent and the aroma. And, you know, I know candles aren't necessarily um, environmentally safe, but... Uh, I enjoy. That's my weakness. That's my joy. You know, one of them. But uh, anyway, I hope you all have a good evening. And uh, take care of yourself. Thanks for visiting the city. And you all, go see us because it is us. <laughs> anyway, take care. Namaste.